You know what you are, Paul? You're a watcher. You're a watcher. And there are watchers in this world and there are doers. And the watchers sit around watching the doers do. Well, tonight, you watched and I did. It's a little harder to watch what you did than it is for you to do what I was watching. You can't even relax for one evening. I don't know, Paul. Sometimes you act like it. What? Stuffed shirt? Is that it? I didn't say that. That's what you're implying. That's what you're anticipating. I didn't say stuffed shirt. Mm -hmm. But you're extremely proper and dignified. Proper and dignified? When was I proper and dignified? The other night, at Delfina's, you were drunk, right? Right, I was stoned. Exactly. I didn't even know until you told me in the morning. I mean, you're a funny kind of drunk, Paul. You just sat around looking unhappy and watching your coat. I was watching my coat because someone else was watching my coat. If you want me to get drunk for you sometime, I will. Make your hair stand on end. Last New Year's Eve in Harry's bar, I punched an old woman in the face, so don't tell me about drunk. Now, when else was I proper and dignified? All the time. You're always dressed right. You always look right. You always say the right thing. You're very nearly perfect. Now, that's a rotten thing to say. Before we were married, I thought you slept with a tie. No, no, no. Just for very formal sleeps. You have absolutely no sense of ridiculous. Like last Thursday night, you wouldn't go walking barefoot with me in Washington Square Park. Why not? Simple answer, it was 17 degrees. Exactly. It's very logical, it's very sensible, and it's no fun. Maybe you're right! Maybe you would be better off with someone more colourful and flamboyant. Like the Greek. Well, it'd be a lot more laughs than a stuffed shirt. You said I wasn't. Well, you are now. I'm not listening to this. I have court in the morning. Where are you going? To sleep. How can you sleep now? I'll close my eyes and count Nietzsche's. Good night. You cannot go to sleep now. We're having a fight. You have the fight. When you're done, turn off those lights. <sighs> that gets me absolutely insane. You can even control your emotions. No, no, no. I'm just as upset as you are. But when I'm hungry, I eat. When I'm tired, I sleep. I've seen you even sleep. Don't deny it. Not in the middle of a crisis. What crisis? We're just yelling. You don't consider this a crisis? Our whole marriage is hanging in the balance. It is. When did this happen? Just now. It has suddenly become very clear to me that you and I have absolutely nothing in common. Because I wouldn't walk barefoot in the park with you. No case, darling. Adultery, yes. Cold feet, no. Don't you ever simplify this, Paul. I'm angry. Can't you see that? It's 2.15. If I sleep in half an hour, I'll get five hours sleep. I'll call you from court tomorrow and we can fight by phone. Oh. Huh. You won't go to sleep now. You will stay here and fight to save our marriage. If our marriage hinges on those fishbowls and Pelminskis, then it's not worth saving. Now, care to join me in our tiny bed? We're sleeping from left to right.